I want to welcome the Sunita Williams community. Uh, there are several families here. I want to welcome uh, Principal Brunson um, and uh, fourth grade teacher George Ganacanto. As the school committee knows, we have been trying to share uh, the work that our students are doing as they learn um, and grow within the Needham Public Schools, especially as they try to, um, and our teachers work with them so that they can learn and live out the attributes that are um, spelled out in the portrait of a Needham graduate. And so this evening, uh, the fourth grade class uh, has a special presentation for you. I will turn this over to Mr. Ganacanto. I will ask first, though, if Mike and Andrea and Matt and I can kind of step or sit to the side. Um, for this presentation. Mr. Mr. G, I'm going to turn it over to you. Okay. Testing. So, <clears throat> good evening, members of the school committee. Uh, Dr. Gutekantz, thank you so much for inviting us to perform. Um, thank you for all the parents to uh, delivering your, your children here. Uh, we're very excited to perform to you. Um, we have um, been working on a project since the beginning of the year. And so we'd like to perform our project for you. Um, we have been working in collaboration with Green Needham. So um, this is a very special project and we're hoping that you'll enjoy what we have to share. And we have a very important message that we'd like to share. And after, during, during the um, song uh, portion, uh, we're gonna ask uh, members of the school committee to help us out in singing as well. So without further ado, Good evening, school committee members. Thank you for inviting us to present to you this evening. We are 4G from Sunita Williams and are working on a project to reduce plastic in our world. The following are thoughts and ideas that our class came up with. Why are so many things that we use made of plastic, like juice boxes? Did you know that plastic is made from fossil fuels? Did you know even if you recycle plastic, it doesn't always get recycled? Did you know much of the plastic that we discard ends up in our oceans? It gets churned in, up into microplastics, and then animals like sea turtles mistake it for food and get sick. Did you know that one million water bottles are bought each minute? Just think how much less plastic we'd use if we reuse water bottles. Did you know that plastic um, is designed to last for hundreds of years, but oftentimes is just used once and then thrown away? What can we do? Have a plastic-free lunch. Use reusable water bottles. Use reusable bags when you go shopping. Stop using single-use plastic. Avoid using plastic. Using reusable bags reduces the plastic in our environment and our oceans. It will save sea turtles and other ocean creatures. Plastic harms the world. Reusable bags help save the world. Can we invent a better plastic? There's already some plant-based plastics made from potatoes, starch, and banana skins. We are doing this to help the world. Doing things that seem small like reusing, reducing, and recycling can make a big difference. Using reusable products shows that we care about our world. I think anyone can use a reusable bag. One reusable bag that is used can change the environment a little bit, and if everybody uses a reusable bag, it'll change the environment a lot. We want to thank Kathy Rays from Green Needham, who taught us about the effects that plastics have on our, our environment. Please help us make a difference. To start off, I would like to gift you a third reusable bag we made from upcycled t-shirts. Hope to see you sporting your reusable bags around town. Um, 
Lastly, we will sing us you a song that shares our message to our community, and we will ask you to help us. You will know it's your time to sing when we hold up these signs. Let's try it. I can't hear you. <laughs> okay, I think you're ready. Uh, I'd like to thank, um, ahead of time, um, Earth, Wind, and Fire, whose uh, lyric or, or background instrumentals we're going to be using. I hope you enjoy. Okay, first of all, thank you so much um, for the song, and I just want to tell you how much I love my bag, <laughs> and I'm not just saying that, I love my bag, so thank you. Um, I guess I would like to know if you could tell me the one most important thing that you've learned in this collaboration, I'd be curious to hear. Anyone want to share? I think it's probably the fact that plus that if we use plastic better, we could 
improve the, our world's climate and other factors th that will help preserve. Anyone else want to add to that? Anyone else want to add? No? Doreen? Doreen, you want to share something? It's important to reuse bags because when you don't, like all of it can just get in the garbage and then it just goes somewhere like you'll never actually know. And then when you reuse bags, you just keep reusing it so it doesn't go there for a while. Um, so whenever you, after you use a reusable bag, they could get washed up in the sea or the an animal could eat it, and if they, like, and if you use a reusable bag, then, like, it could help the world by using just less plastic and less climate change, and if everyone did it, it would be good. Okay. And any other questions? There was one more down. Oh, oh, okay. Um, um, fossil fuels are bad for our planet, especially because, um, the smoke goes into the, um, the, the planet and, and also how you, in the, it also, there's also like, um, underground, it's like, um, it's like, uh, uh, like, because plastic is made from fossil fuels. Well, yeah, because it's made from fossil fuels, and I guess um, it's a big, it's um, it's like a, it's the process is also bad for our Earth because of all the smoke and how it uses like in the ground what you do in the ground with it, which I sort of forget how to say, but it's really bad for your Earth. Uh, one reason why we should stop using plastic bags is because w the process of making plastic, uh, which, which involves fossil fuels, it, uh, well, it does something to the water you drink, uh, currently. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Connie, I think you wanted to say something. I think what I noticed, and I wonder if you could tell me if I'm right, is that you seem to have learned a lot of different in a lot of different ways. It looks like you did some research. It looks like you did some writing. It looks like you did somebody did some sewing. You used music. You used art. And I think that we all learn in different ways, and I wonder if that's true. Did some of you like one or another way to learn about um, reusable bags? For instance, I know the next time I get one out of my car, I'm going to be singing reusable bags, which is a good way for me to remember. So I wonder if you learned in different ways. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Does, <laughs> well, no, so. Does, yeah. Does anyone want to maybe share why we, we talked about using the words, do you remember? Well, we did it so you would remember to bring them and stop using them. Um, Single-use reusable bags. I mean, not reusable. Um, yeah, single-use plastic. And what is it that we learned about single-use plastic bags? Anyone want to <laughs> um, that plastic bags don't always go away. They turn into microplastics and they like go in the air, so they like never really go away. Did you want to add something, Sergio? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was Mike. All right, thank you. I'm a bit of a ringer because I'm involved with Green Needham. Mr. G, fantastic. We're going to nominate you for songwriting. <laughs> All of you, this is incredible. I cannot believe how much material you absorbed. 
I mean, I it takes me, I don't know how much time it takes us to get adults to co- get half of the material that you guys now understand. This is extraordinarily impressive. And our biggest challenge has been, how do you get people to remember to reuse reusable bags? Because we've all got them, but nobody brings them into the store. So this, this chorus, fantastic. And I'm curious, do any of you have any other tips for adults in the room who forget their bags and leave them in the car, leave them at home? I'd love to hear them. Well, hey, okay, I'm not, apparently I'm not supposed to tell you that, but you came up with a great idea. Thank you. Okay. okay. And, and, oh, you got one more here. Well, just have a to, like, for example, some of you, I'm guessing, have a to-do list, and write down, don't forget to bring your reusable bags in your to-do list. That's to true. Shopping. Excellent thought. So I was I was with our state senator today um, because we were talking about the problem of plastics, and she actually chairs the Environment and Natural Resources Committee. She has a bill that she has put forward that is going to deal with a lot of plastic things. It's going to take a while. Things take a while in the state. But I told her that you guys were going to be here, um, and so I'm going to make sure that she gets a chance to see this. And thank you, because this is the work that she does up at the state senate and that we all do here um, you're wonderful ambassadors. Thank you. Outstanding. Okay. Well, school committee members, thank you very much. Thank no, you. Yeah, thank you. I'll, I'll just, I'm a former principal, so I'm, I'll just use that voice. Um, no, I, I, first of all, again, I wanted to uh, really congratulate you on a couple of things. One, it was very clear tonight, uh, all the work and learning and effort that you put in uh, over how, how many weeks to, to come here and, and present to us tonight. So that's one. The second, just to remind folks of the audience, the whole uh, purpose of this section of the evening was to highlight Portrait of an Eden graduate. And uh, I think several years ago, members of the community got together and talked about what do we want our 12th graders to be able to do, to be able to uh, accomplish uh, after they've been through the Needham school system. And it was not a, it's not memorizing a bunch of facts or figures, but it was all about competencies and skills. So creative thinkers and problem solvers, communicators and collaborators, socially and culturally responsive, uh, responsive contributors, responsible and re resilient individuals, and most of all, empowered learners. Uh, that is the vision uh, that we aspire to for every student who comes to our system and I uh, this is really a perfect example of that uh, part of that means you also have to change teaching and learning in the classroom uh, you are creating opportunities for real world learning things that matter things that touch the community and the world also performance uh, performance not singing but having a live audience having sort of a presentation that actually means something with a whole bunch of people and actually you're all on TV too uh, maybe you didn't know that uh, but you could watch it later on tonight. So, so this is what it's all about. Uh, I want to thank you uh, to, for all the ever thanks to the students, obviously, and families for coming out to support tonight. Uh, it really was wonderful to see and an inspiration and all about what we're all talking about and trying to aspire to uh, once you become 12th graders and figure out what to do next. So thank you again. Okay, thank you.